Hello and welcome to another edition of Powet Toys. I am your host Crazy and today we take a look at Voyager Class Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. In the Transformers franchise, very few mainstay characters from generation to generation remained fairly consistent uh, in both design and personality. Aside from Optimus Prime, I think Starscream is one of these very few characters. Always one of Megatron's top lieutenants, and always with an agenda all his own. From G1, to Beast Wars, to Cybertron, to Transformers Animated. While each variation was unique, they all still had the same look and feel of Starscream and transformed into a jet. All while he sought to defy Megatron at every step of the way. Armada was perhaps one of the few examples of Starscream breaking from the norm, striking up a friendship with the human Alexis, and even joining the Autobots for a short period of time. The movie franchise has similarly, similarly, broken away from the tradition of this character in kind of a reverse manner in that the Starscream we see in the movies is nothing, uh, excuse me, looks nothing like what we have come to know Starscream as with the exception of him being able to transform into a jet. Character wise though we see more similarities than disparities. The toy from the first movie was one of my favorites from the first line of figures. <clears throat> the only thing I didn't like about this original Starscream figure was that he really had no hands. And the head bothered me a little bit too, but honestly he had so little screen time in the first movie that I couldn't tell how far off the toy's head sculpt was from the model in the movie. This is Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. Voyager class in robot mode. He's a pretty nice figure and far more detailed than the old figure. Here is the old figure next to the new figure side by side. Now this new version from Revenge of the Fallen makes the old uh, lines figure look like a hulking play school toy. And I think part of the reason for that is the added time in between the movies and the foreknowledge of what Starscream was actually going to look like. Um, and that's mostly because during the first movie, the figure was being designed kind of at the same time while the, the finalized um, concept of what Starscream was actually going to look like was being hammered out. One of the ways in which they improved on the old figure is by improving the head sculpt quite a bit. I'm not sure how well you can really see the difference between the two heads here, but it's noticeable. In addition, most of the new figures from Revenge of the Fallen feature a Mecha Live gimmick, which when you rotate one part, it kind of moves other parts. So for Starscream, if you rotate his head, I'm not sure how well you can see this either, but some gears rotate in here. It's not much of a gimmick um, because it makes the head, uh, it requires more torque to turn the head, but it's not terrible either. Um, uh, in addition, at BotCon, the Hasbro team mentioned that there, the, there was supposed to be another gimmick on the wrists with these guns, and I can't remember if they said that they were going to kind of um, pop up or if this barrel was going to rotate. Either way, um, they said they ran out of money in their sculpting budget, so this is the figure we got, but not to worry because a leader class Starscream is on its way. Another advantage of the new figure is hands. This figure has hands, which the other figure didn't really. 
Okay. So while they fixed the head and hands on Revenge of the, so the Fallen uh, Starscream here, it was to the detriment of what was my favorite part of the old figure, and that's the legs. Um, the legs are very large, tight, and uh, kind of chunky on the old figure, and incredibly stable. On the new figure, the joints are much looser and don't really hold their position quite as well. They're also much smaller, so that sort of chicken leg kind of look the old figure has isn't nearly as noticeable in the new figure, which some people prefer. They didn't like the chicken legs. I kind of like them. It sort of set them apart um, from other figures. But I was kind of disappointed with the, the feet and legs on the new figure as opposed to the old figure. But I am happy we have hands and a decent head now. Jet mode. Here is Starscream in his jet mode. Now, right away you see all of these crazy designs, this sort of tribal tattoo artwork on Starscream. Uh, this is apparently in the movie, though the movie was kind of quick and you couldn't really tell. Um, this is from originally the Reign of Starscream comic. Uh, or at least that's what they said. I read the Reign of Starscream comic and it made no reference to this sort of tattoo and the artwork is kind of all over the place so it's not really easy to tell if he actually has it at the end of the book. So I'm not really sure what to say about it other than that but it's there, it's pretty cool. Um, he has landing gear underneath it actually, uh, the front folds out twice, so you can actually fold it out. Not sure how well you can see that. Fold it out once. And you can see that little black piece. If we fold that out, there's our fully extended front landing gear. And the back landing gear are uh, right here. We just fold those out. Real simple. I fold inward and inward. And that's all there is to it. The wheels do not rotate, but it allows you to set the plane down at an even flat uh, position. The old star screen did not have landing gear. Um, it was more geared toward its gimmick, which when you rolled it, it allowed these gun barrels on the side to rotate. Although it worked better when you were going backwards than when you were going forwards, except in the case of right now. <laughs> But it does make a kind of a neat gimmick that is a little addictive after a while. Okay. And now for some plugs. Remember, we have a bi weekly podcast that features myself and many others of the Powett staff talking about the latest news, a roundtable discussion, usually, and basically what we're into, uh, be it games, comics, or toys, or whatever else strikes our fancy at the time. Also, we have a new weekly column every Saturday called the Powett Alphabet. The alphabet is the building block, excuse me, the alphabet is the building blocks of our language. So the Powett Alphabet is the building blocks of what makes us geeks. Remember to check us out at powit.tv for all of your latest news on gaming, toys, music, movies, and a whole lot more. Feel free to email me at crazy at powit.tv. You can follow us on Twitter now. The main Powit site is at powit.tv. And Powit Toys is also on there, where I just talk about toys, at powit.toys. 
be sure to friend us on Facebook. And remember kids, don't disappoint Megatron yet again. Open your toys and stay tuned for the transformation. Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. A pretty cool Voyager class figure from the Revenge of the Fallen movie line. And thanks for watching.